Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Discussing class 8. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number 1. You must be familiar with the following nursery rhymes. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. So now you see there are terms which we have discussed in this lesson, right? We have been talking all the time about wool. We, we have, while we were discussing about the wool animals, did I tell you about fleece? What is fleece? So let's see what are these. So now there are a few questions for you. Which parts of the black sheep have wool? So by now, I think we know this. So which part has the wool? The outermost covering. So, ship has a woolly covering outside its body. So, basically the skin. On the skin, they have hair all over their body. So, how do we get wool from the ship? The entire woolly covering along with a very thin layer of skin. What is meant by white fleece? What is the meaning of fleece? Fleece is nothing but the hair of the lamb. The woolly covering of the lamb. So, fleece is nothing but the woolly covering of lamp. Question number two. The silkworm is a caterpillar, a larva. Choose the correct option. So now you have four options. What is a silkworm? Silkworm comes at in the life, it is just a stage in the life cycle of a silk moth. So which stage is it? It is a caterpillar because it is like a worm. It's, it's just like the caterpillar. And it is also a larva because it is the larval stage of the silk moth. So basically the correct answer would be both A and B. Because the silk worm is a caterpillar and it is the larval stage. Because the larva is hatched from the eggs. And that is how your silk worm is hatched. Question number three. Which of the following does not yield wool? Yak. Camel, goat, woolly dog. So the right answer would be woolly dog because other than these all of them are wool animals. They are fat, they have a woolly covering on their body. Until and unless an animal has a woolly covering on, on its body, it will not be able to yield wool. Right? Question number 4. What is meant by the following terms? Rearing, shearing, sericulture. So rearing is all about taking good care of animals to obtain useful products from them. Now whether you talk about animals like cow which provides us milk and we get so many milk products. So it is important that we take care of the cow only then it will be able to give us good quality milk. Similarly if you talk about silk worms they provide us silk so it is important to rear them to feed them properly to give them proper temperature proper humidity so that they can uh, remain in hygienic condition they can lay their eggs properly. So that is called rearing taking overall care of animals feeding them properly maintaining proper hygiene. Shearing is the process of removing the woolly covering along with a thin layer of skin from the wool from the wool animals. For example, sheep or goat. So for them, when we want to obtain wool from them, so the first step is always shearing where we just remove the layer of wool from their body. Now this process doesn't hurt them because the layer of skin which we are removing is a dead skin layer. Sericulture is the name given to the process of rearing of silkworms. So in sericulture, as I shown you, showed you some time back that we make proper arrangements so that the silkworms are able to produce eggs so that the larva or the silk, uh, so that the silk moth is able to produce eggs and the silkworms get hatched from the eggs. So proper environment, proper temperature, moisture, hygiene, everything is maintained so that silkworms can be reared properly to obtain good quality silk. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.